Hello, Harry Potter fans. Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector channel where we are a community of collectors. The special Headmasters Edition box from the Wizarding Trunk has arrived. It's a very, very heavy box, so there is a lot of stuff in here. I cannot wait to see what's inside. Let's open it up. First, let's take a look at the box. We see that same trunk design on the front, Wizarding Trunk logo, Owl Post Service, and Fragile Fragile magical deliveries. Fragile, I like that word, fragile. And then the rest of the box is just a brown box. I have my Gryffindor sword letter opener from a previous Wizarding Trunk box. The Wizarding Trunk has just ended their book themed subscription series. So they did one box for each of the seven books. And then Deathly Hollows they actually split into two boxes. But they just finished that, but they are starting a new series, Lessons. So each box will be themed after a few magical lessons. So that is exciting, that starts next month, but they did just release this special edition Headmaster box, and I'm very excited to see what's inside, especially to see what's so heavy. It must just be stuffed with stuff. Like, I wish that you could feel how heavy this box is. You get the first view. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, fun, okay. So, oh, that's the cheat sheet. Don't wanna look at that. But the cheat sheet on the back has all of Dumbledore's favorite things. Sherbet lemons, fizzing whisbies, cockroach cluster, toffee eclairs, and acid pops. And I think each of these at some point throughout the book series was a password to get into Dumbledore's office. We're gonna put this aside for now. Holy cow. I'm gonna take these schnigglies out. <gasps> that pin. I'm gonna flip it over, I don't wanna look at it too much. But I wanna show you guys just how packed, oh my goodness, there's a key in here, oh my goodness. Look at how much stuff is packed into this box. Uh, I don't even know where to start. Let's just start with the pin, because I saw the pin. The pin is the griffin statue that guards the headmaster's office. Beautifully detailed, really well made. Seriously fantastic detail on this pin. It looks 3D, I love the bronze gold color. Really awesome start to this box. All right, what's this? Why? Why is it always you three? <laughs> That's a quote by Professor McGonagall. She's the deputy headmistress. And what is this? This is Stress and Headache Relief Skin Stick. And this is made by Alchemy for the Skin. It's organic grape seed, coconut oil, essential oils of sweet orange, lang lang, labdanum, and candelilla wax. It smells very good, but opening it up, like it looks cracked. You know, like what chapstick looks like after you've used it a couple times? And it's actually not even coming out. All right, next item is a key, and it has an H on it. It's the key to Hogwarts, School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Oh no, there's an H and an M on it, which means it's the Headmaster's Key. At the handle is a shield with an H and an M in it. Oh, that's cool. And then on the shaft of the wand actually has a W and a T on it. That's a fun little nod to the wizarding trunk. The color is like the pin and has a beautiful bronze gold finish on it. Really nice, heavy, substantial key, and this would make a really nice display piece. All right, let's uh, open this up. <gasps> Holy mother of pearl. There is a giant potion in here, and it's wrapped in this cloth bag. On the front is a skull and crossbones. That can only mean poison. Let's open this up. Finest oak matured mead. This is really, really clever. This was supposed to be a gift for Dumbledore and it was poisoned. This was one of Draco Malfoy's attempts to kill Dumbledore and Professor Slughorn was going to give it to Dumbledore as a Christmas gift, but you'll remember that he ended up opening it himself. This is very, very cool. But this is the poisoned bottle of oak mead that was meant for Dumbledore. Nice looking bottle, love the label, very cool wax seal and the bottle itself is sealed with wax. There's nothing on the inside. I wish there was a liquid on the inside because it would look cooler, but I totally understand why they didn't fill it. For one, it would make it more heavy, and two, if it broke, well, your box would be covered in the finest oak matured mead. Okay, this is a fun box. Next up, we have a little jar with sherbet lemons, fizzy sweet treat, lemon flavored, and there are some lemon flavored candies on the inside. They are individually wrapped, which is fantastic. I'm gonna pop one in my mouth and see what they taste like. They look like lollipops without the stick. 
These are actually really, really good. It's like one of the best lemon candies I've ever had, actually. So this, of course, is a nod to Professor Dumbledore's favorite treat, sherbet lemons. The label looks really cool. I love that they're individually packaged, as well as the little lemons on the packaging itself. All right, what's next? How about this right here? It is a candle by Inflamare Candles. Tea time with the head mistress. Fruit tea, basil, sage, and mint. It's a green candle. This is a very fresh smell. The sage, the basil, and mint, that's a really nice combination, actually. I wish that you guys could smell this, because this is really, really fresh. It smells like fresh linens mixed with like a really nice soap. It's just a really fresh scent. And then on top, there are some tea leaves, as well as some gold glitter. This is going to be a really nice candle to burn. All right, what's this little bottle here? Well, it looks like a bottle. Another potion ingredient, powdered root of asphodel. This is a nod to Snape, Severus Snape. Tell me, what would I get if I added powdered root of asphodel to an infusion of wormwood? Inside is powdered root of asphodel, and the top is sealed with a wax seal. And then, again, fantastic label. I love the bottle shape. Here is a big white box, and inside is... <gasps> it's a memory vial. Wow. And on the front it says, Important HS concerning TMR altered. So TMR, Tom Marvolo Riddle. Important Horace Slughorn memory concerning Tom Marvolo Riddle. So if you remember in Half-Blood Prince, Horace Slughorn changes his memory about his little chat with Tom Marvolo Riddle. This is beautiful. It's filled with this blue shimmery liquid. It's big too. Look at how big this is. It's uh, this is so fragile. Listen to this. Like, I want a cabinet right now of all these. Now, it's a blue liquid. I wonder if it's fluorescent or glow in the dark at all. I don't think it's glow in the dark, but it might be. This is a stunning piece. What is next? There is a box, a white box, like a jewelry box. Oh my gosh. A wizarding trunk. You guys are smashing it with this box. There's a little card in here that says, deep down, you know you deserve to be punished. We know that quote is from Dolores Jane Umbridge, headmistress. Look at this. Quill. This is the quill that Professor Umbridge used to punish students. She forced Harry to write, I must not tell lies on a piece of paper with no ink. The quill magically conjured its own ink, which turned out to be the user's blood. So I must not tell lies was then etched on Harry's hand. This is a fantastic piece. Beautiful quill, super detailed. It's a quill that you can use, although I don't recommend using it because it is going to use your blood. It's made out of shiny silver metal with a jet black feather at the end. Really, really awesome piece. All right, there are two more or three more items in here. This is another heavy one. This is like crazy, the, the heavy items that are in here. Possibly another potion. <laughs> it is another potion. I love potions, so I'm not complaining. Infusion of Wormwood. Hey, not to Snape. What would I get if I added powdered root of asphodel to an infusion of Wormwood? And this one is fantastic. Inside is Wormwood and leaves, and it's a green color, and it is wax sealed, and there's a plant design stamp. The label says a substance derived from the Wormwood plant. A notable use of the infusion is that it can be used in potion making along with powdered root of asphodel to create the draft of the living death. The top is also wrapped in twine. You can see the liquid moving on the inside, which is really nice. It's not just like a resin material, like it actually is filled with a liquid. <laughs> this is an awesome box. All right, last box within a box. And then there is a piece of artwork. And this is a heavy mug. What? Another nod to Professor Snape. Turn to page 394, obviously. It's a green mug with silver writing and white speckles all around it. And it's a big, substantial mug. I love the lettering and font that was used. And that famous line spoken by Alan Rickman playing Professor Snape, obviously, when questioned by Dolores Umbridge about why he did not get the Defense Against the Dark Arts post. Very, very cool. And last but not least is a beautiful piece of artwork of Fox, Dumbledore's Phoenix. Behind Fox are books, lots and lots of books. So just imagine that I'm Fox, 
and the books behind me are Dumbledore's office. That's what this picture is. Really nice use of colors. I like that Fox isn't super bright red. The colors are a little bit more rich, darker, toned down colors. All right, let's take a look at the cheat sheet and see what was in this box. We have the memory vial. These hand-blown memory vials were made especially for this box, but it appears the memory inside has been tampered with. Tea time with the head mistress. This candle was created by Inflamare Candles. And again, it's, it's so fresh, really nice. Next up is powdered root of asphodel and the infusion of wormwood. So number three and number four, what would I get if I added powdered root of asphodel to an infusion of wormwood. Both of these ingredients were bottled by Pure Blood Apothecary. Next up is the Phoenix in the Study print. This watercolor print was created by JP Missile Crow, and it's a Wizarding Trunk exclusive. The Quill. Deep down, you know you deserve to be punished. Next up is the Griffin Pin, another beautiful item. The Enamel Mug. This mug features two of our favorite snarky quotes from this professor. Sherbert Lemon Candies, a favorite non-wizarding candy. Don't like these candies or can't have them? Display these candies with pride or gift them to your headmaster. They are his favorite. Why is it always you three? This vegan stress and headache relief stick is great for relieving stress and headaches. Except that I can't get it out out. The Headmaster Key, which is also a Wizarding Trunk exclusive. Strolling around the castle and don't fancy using magic, this Headmaster Key will allow you to enter any door without a magic spell. This key was designed in-house, and it is a beautiful design. And last but not least, which I think is my favorite item out of all of these, is the Cursed Bottle of Mead. Merry Christmas, Headmaster. Note the faint smell of licorice and cherry. This is so clever. So clever. I've never seen anything like this. This is also a Wizarding Trunk exclusive. This was by far the best Wizarding Trunk box that I have opened. All of the items were fantastic, but I'm going to choose my favorite three, my top three favorites. First one is the bottle of poisoned mead. Next up is the memory vial, the tampered with memory vial. This is just really, really beautiful and well-made. And I'm struggling between the asphodel and infusion of wormwood or the feather quill, but I think I'm gonna go with the infusion of wormwood and powdered root of asphodel. Even though these are two items, I kind of put them together, but these would be my third favorite out of all of these items. What about you? What did you think about this box? I would like to know. I'm sure the wizarding trunk would like to know. So leave a comment down below. Rhyme time! Now for every past Wizarding Trunk box, I have done a giveaway of some sort. I'm going to continue on with that tradition with this box and give an item away that I was close to making my third favorite, and it is the Feather Quill. So one of you has the opportunity to win this Feather Quill. For information, check out the description down below. And to the winner, be very careful when you use this. If you yourself would like to give the Wizarding Trunk a try, check out the description for a link to their website as well as a 10% off coupon code for Potter Collector community members. That code is Potter Collector 10. With this box, the Wizarding Trunk has seriously set the bar high, not just for themselves, but for other subscription boxes. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, Harry Potter collecting, or anything else, please feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram, at the Potter Collector, or on Twitter, at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?